Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I just wanted to say thank you so much for dropping by and I wanted to give a quick shout out to um, Crafty Crafts by Deanna. Uh, she gave me a little shout out tonight on her on her channel and I really appreciate that. I was at 11 subscribers and I think I'm over 35 and um, I'm just starting out so I'm um, doing video by video and it takes a little bit of time to get up there and subscribers um, but eventually I'll get there and um, I really appreciate everybody that stops by and checks out my videos um, I if you'd like to leave a comment in the comment box that's great um, and I love watching everybody's videos as well and I will definitely pay it for because I believe that um, we're all here to support each other and um, that's what it's all about. If um, I think it's wonderful to support everybody's channel and that's what the whole YouTube is about, is to enjoy everybody else's channels and, and see everybody's talents and yeah. Just enjoy. So I wanted to show you a little craft tonight um, of these little Valentine um, Mercy Chocolates um, gift box, and I think they're really sweet. Um, it has it's a little gift box, and it has a little uh, heart on the front, and you can open them up, and they hold four little um, Mercy uh, chocolates inside really sweet for Valentine's Day. Um, they're not too difficult to make and I just wanted to show you a little tutorial on how to make them if you'd like to stay with me and um, yeah I can show you how to put them together. So what you'll need is a piece of uh, what I have is real red cardstock and um, it's cut to 10 and 1 8 by 3 and 3 quarters and um, you can I mean you don't have to use this for Valentine's you can use it for any occasion um, but I'm just making this one for Valentine's so this could be any color that you want depending on whatever occasion you want to use um, so 10 and 1 8 by 3 and 3 quarters is the size of the cardstock that I'm using that we're going to build the box with and um, then you need to score um, some sizes here so I'm just going to grab my scoreboard so on the small um, I'm just going to move that so you can see good on the camera on the small way across you're going to score your cardstock at three eighths and then again at three and three eighths to the scoreboard. I usually use my Stampin' Up! cutter so bear with me um, and uh, I'm not used to uh, staying in the grooves here. Okay so three eighths and three and three eighths and then turn your um, cardstock horizontally and then you're going to score at three and one eighth See, that's what I'm talking about. I try to stay in the grooves with this cutter, but I always seem to fall off. But just keep going and do your best. Okay, three and one eighths, and then three and a half. Okay, 
and then six and five eighths. And then seven. I think I cut that. I cut that one wrong, so I'm just gonna have a line there, but that's okay because this one's mine, so if I make a mistake, it's alright. So. so six and five eighths and seven. So I'll just repeat that last one there. Um, so all your scores is three eighths the small way, three and three eighths uh, that way, three eighths this way, three and three eighths, and then this way is three and one eighth, three and a half, six and five eighths, and then seven. And you can see I made a mistake, but no big deal. So after you um, score those, you're just going to take your um, bone folder and um, go over all the creases and burns those out. Get them nice and crisp. And a little trick that I learned about getting some of the fold. If you do make a mistake, you can always go back with your bone folder and kind of go on the back of that fold that I made there by accident and kind of push it from the back and it'll actually somewhat make it disappear. It's not going to make it totally disappear, but it does help. You can almost see from the back that it's gone there. So. Again, like I said in the last video, there's little tricks of the trade and uh, there's ways to get around it. Everybody makes mistakes. It's not a big deal. I am a perfectionist, but if I was really, if this was for somebody, um, if I was using this at a craft show, I would actually just get another piece of cardstock and make a new one. Um, but where I'm just showing this, um, and it's going to be for myself, um, I'll just fix it. Okay, so now that you have your all your folds done, I actually made a little template, the exact same. And when you look at the template here, um, you can see um, it's the same as the one that we just folded. And on this one, you're going to see that these um, folds here on this one and this side, and it doesn't matter if you do this up here or these ones down here, like even if you turn it around, this side and this side are both the same measurements but you're only going to do one side. So we can just pick this one up here. Um, you're going to cut this piece and this piece out where I have it squiggled here. And you're also going to cut this little square out and this little square out where this little piece is here. So I'll just show you here. So you're going to cut here, here, and you can take that whole piece out. And your little cube there, take that piece out. And then on the other side, you're going to come down. Do the same thing and then your little cube piece take that out as well and just snip that off right there so you should have 
a piece like that of your square and your two little pieces on that end. And then in the template here that I'm showing, the you leave this piece and leave this piece and then these two little pieces here you're going to cut but you're just going to take a little angle out of each end. So I'll show you here. You're going to just snip it to that fold line and snip it on this side. But then you're going to just angle it in a little bit just to take a little piece out of there. And then angle it on that side to take a little piece out. So you'll have something that looks like that. You can see that on the camera. And then do the same on the opposite side. Now we have um, something that looks like that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cut our heart piece out that uh, goes up here. So I'll grab my big shot. position your heart up the top you can see that in the camera I'll show you that position it up the top here right about there and while I'm doing that I'm going to also cut out a little piece of cardstock that I'm going to use for my heart for the front of the card, which is right there. So I'm just going to cut that out at the same time just to save some time. a little bit later <laughs> okay so now we have our heart piece cut out and we're going to keep this little cutout piece because we're going to use that for the front of our little box because that's the piece that I used here and the little pink heart is the one that's in the middle so that's use those. Now the um, heart um, dies that I'm using, I have, I'm just using the Sizzix dies, and uh, those are the two smallest ones that came in the pack with those. So now we're going to uh, put the um, box together and you just going to use a little bit of Tombow glue. So you're just going to take a little bit of glue and put it on just a little bit on this little tab and you're going to start 
gluing the bottom piece onto this bottom of the box. Just hold it there for a second. Give that a chance to hang on there for a minute and then go to the other side. you're going to put some glue on this part here. And bring that side down of the box. Just hold that in place. Had a little bit of snow today and it's still snowing so I'm not sure where everybody's watching from today but in Nova Scotia we had snow and it's cold I think it was 24 below with the wind chill today so anybody that's watching from Florida or California I'm sure you're liking being in your shorts. Um, okay, so then you're just going to uh, put the glue on the other side of the box. And actually, I'm sorry, I just forgot a little part here. So I'm just going to back up before I glue that part. Um, there is a little window sheet, if you can see that here. And the window sheet is three by two and seven eighths. And um, I didn't forget too late, but um, before you glue that side there, um, you can put this on. You're just gonna put it on with um, some glue dots. You put one right in the corner of each, of each corner, put a little glue dot. And what you're going to do is stick this down right behind your heart and press that in behind there. And that'll fit exactly into place. Okay, and now you can close your box. second if the glue is sticking here. Okay. And sometimes what I do is I take the uh, bone folder and I just go in with the bone folder and press against the seams and that gets it in there nice and strong and just press against it there. So right now, now we have our little window in there. And you can go in now and put your Merci chocolates. And it holds four chocolates very nicely. And What's nice is you can see them through the window, which is really cute. And that's really cute. And uh, now the lid is already there, and we have our little heart, which re looks really cute. 
Our box is coming along. Okay, and so now we're going to do the top of our lid. And I'm using two different stamp sets today. One is uh, Sure Do Love You by Stampin' Up. And the other one is Love Sparkles. And I'm using this Love Stamp here from that stamp set. And I'm using the heart on this one. Uh, the ink I'll be using today is um, Stampin' Up's Real Red and the Pink Pirouette. So I just take the, the Whisper White cardstock and that's cut at the size of three and two by two and seven eighths. Same size as your window sheet. And you just want to uh, put your heart on the right hand side of your card there. Okay, and And your little love, which is really cute. I like the way it's done. It looks like it's stitched almost. I'm just going to put that at the bottom. Okay. And then we can just let that dry for a second. I find it takes longer for the red to dry than other inks. Uh, red is, I find it stains your stamps and takes longer to dry. It's just a very fussy color. Okay, so now I'm just going to um, put this on my box, a little bit of adhesive, and you just want to, it pretty much fits centers right on there. going to do is make the hole for the heart and now what I've done is I've taken my punch it's just a label punch from Stampin' Up and what I've done is I've made myself a little uh, template again and cut out a little piece here and I'm just going to take the piece and put a little bit of adhesive on it and stick it on where I want it on my box here. So right there. And I just want to check that out by where my heart's going to be. That looks good pretty there. And so by doing that now, um, I know by where I'm going to punch through. It's almost giving me a guideline of making sure that the punch is in the right spot. So now I can just put my punch in the right spot and punch that right through. And it gives me 
the exact spot to put that. Okay, and right there. And so now I'm going to take my um, bone folder and I'm just going to curl my heart a little bit to give it a little bit of flexibility because it does go through the the hole that I just made. And I like doing the same thing with the pink one. Okay, and so now I'm going to just glue that pink one onto the red. Really cute. And I'll take a little bit of, uh, I like using the uh, glue dots because I find they're really strong. Right here. I'm going to put them right in the middle, going down the middle of that heart, kind of right in a line. Okay, it's almost like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put that heart right in the middle of that hole there and give it a good press line it up really well so it's on the hole there and then that's how your box opens up with your, your little heart that folds and then I like to put a little bit of little bling on there. I just put one right on the little heart. I have to get one of those little picks. Um, I see a lot of people using them. They're really cute. Okay, put some on the hearts. I think this is a really sweet little Valentine's gift or treat holder that people will just love. My granddaughter loves chocolate and I know that she would just love to get this. And who wouldn't? And there you go. And it's not complete until my sweet baby stamps the back because he is the one that finishes all my projects. My dear little crew. And so there you go. A mere C uh, treat holder for Valentine's Day. And I think they make a pretty special treat for somebody you love or a co-worker or just somebody special that you want to give something to. Um, you know what? Make one and give it to somebody on walking down the street. Maybe you never met them before and you just want to give, give it to the postman. Give it to uh, the bus driver. Give it to... The person you buy coffee from every day. You know what? It's all about uh, showing somebody kindness. And if everybody did that, wow, what an amazing world we would live in. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I really appreciate you. 
I appreciate uh, the time that you've given me today. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day and that you come back again to watch more videos. Um, have a great day. Bye-bye.